Three, two. Welcome back guys to Shin to Shin. I'm Andrew. And I'm Michael. And today we're going to be making uh, Korean style spring rolls. Exactly. So um, we thought we'd uh, give this a try. Uh, normally um, what we mean by Korean style spring rolls is essentially ingredients that make traditional mandu, which is Korean style dumpling. Uh, but we're going to put it in uh, spring roll wrappers and uh, make them as spring rolls and deep fry them. So we're pretty excited about that. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it, Michael? Yeah, I am. Okay. So you want to go through uh, the ingredients for the folks watching? Yeah. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button so you can get notified and look at all of our newest videos that we make. And thank you for your support. So the ingredients that I'll be using is chives, sprouts, um, Spring roll wrap. Spring roll wrappers, yeah. Yeah, wrappers. Uh, sesame seeds. Um, minced garlic. Black pepper, salt. Sesame oil. Yep. Soy sauce. Uh huh. Yeah, soy sauce. Yep. Ground pork. Yep. Uh, shrimp. Yep. And glass noodles. And the carrots. Oh yeah, and <laughs> carrots. Thanks, Michael, for going through the ingredients. So what we have to do now is prep some of our ingredients. Uh, so we have our chives here. We have our sprouts, our carrots, and our glass noodles. What we want to do with those is chop them up into smaller, tiny pieces because we're going to use that to mix in with our ground pork and our shrimp as well. Actually, the shrimp we have to cut up into tiny little like mince pieces as well. Yeah, and then we're going to cook it. So what I'll do is I'll work on the shrimp. And then, Michael, if you want to start with the cutting chives, it? just cutting it, you know, into small little pieces. Okay. And then uh, we'll get going. We have our ingredients prepped. As you can see here, we chopped up our chives and our carrots uh, finely. Uh, we have our sprouts that we'll be uh, mixing into uh, our mandu mix and the glass noodles, uh, Michael has chopped those up as well. So what we're gonna do here is a bit of a cheat step. We're gonna cook our meat ingredients ahead of time, then mix it in with all of the other um, vegetables to, to make our filling. Uh, typically when you make mandu, you don't really cook the meat first. You actually just make the filling uh, uncooked. Uh, for this recipe, we're going to pre-cook the meat portions or uh, elements. So I'm going to add the ground pork. I have a little bit of oil in the pan. And I've set the temperature to medium heat. And we'll just let that cook. Add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, just a pinch, perfect. And we're just going to let that cook and uh, once it's cooked through then we're going to add in our minced uh, shrimp. So our ground pork is starting to cook nicely and uh, now I will add the minced shrimp. Just kind of mix that in there and we'll let that cook. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the heat now. This has been cooking for about, uh, I would say, four minutes or so. Uh, we don't want to cook this too long. Uh, again, because we're going to wrap them and then deep fry them, they're going to get cooked some more. So this was just to lightly cook them. 
get them ready. And now what we're going to do is transfer this into a large bowl that we're going to mix uh, with all of our other ingredients. So we have all of our ingredients ready to go. We cooked our minced pork and shrimp and that looks lovely. And uh, now we're going to mix in our other ingredients. So, uh, Michael, do you want to help me here? Do you want to add in, uh, let's add in the glass noodles. Okay. Okay. The uh, chives, you wonderfully chopped up. I'll add in the carrots. Add this. Uh, and this. Sprouts. Let's add our garlic. Yep garlic uh, we will add just a little bit of salt and pepper not too much salt because uh, I'm gonna be adding pepper uh, soy sauce right pepper. yeah a little bit of pepper okay. okay there we go I'm gonna add our soy sauce sesame seeds yeah toasted sesame seeds yeah just sprinkle all the way around Sesame oil. Yep, sesame oil. And just drizzle it all around. Yep, get it all over. Perfect. I'm just going to go in with my hands. Mix it all together. And get in there and get all that meat from the bottom. Okay, what do you think? Nicely mixed? Yeah. Okay, so now we have our filling for our spring rolls. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we will assemble. Yeah. So Michael, this is where the magic happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take our spring roll wrappers and what we do okay. is we lay them in a sort of the diamond uh, direction, right, like this. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take a decent spoonful. Yep, you want to make sure it's just right about there. Yep. A little more, I think. Yeah, you can get, you know, use your hands too, it's okay. See, so that's perfect. So what we wanna do is, remember, we wanna try to keep this as tight as possible, so wrap it like this. Then we fold in the sides, remember? Mm-hmm, right? like that last video. Yep, like the last time we did uh, spring rolls. And then a little bit of the egg wash at the tip here, so that acts like glue there you have it voila spring roll there yeah perfect good job i'll put this on the tray want to grab another one yeah okay so while michael and i continue to do this We'll be back in a few, and then we'll be ready to fry them. Mm -hmm. Great job, Michael, uh, helping me uh, put together the spring rolls. As mm -hmm. you can see, we have our entire tray ready. They smell delicious. Yeah. They'll smell even better after we fry them in the pan. And uh, we have a little bit of oil here, uh, cooking oil, probably about an uh, inch and a half or so deep in this pan. And we have it at about 350 um, degrees. And so the oil temperature is right, ready to go. So what we'll do is we'll just do a few at a time. Or four. Yeah. Or five. Okay. We'll do five at a time. Right. I think that's good enough. And so we'll just want to leave that to cook for about a minute on one side. We'll flip them over and cook them for about another minute or so, maybe a minute, minute and a half. Again, it doesn't need to cook too long because we already... Uh, pre-cooked our uh, pork and our shrimp get it nicely browned and you can see it's already starting to so again uh, it doesn't really need to stay there long look at that they're starting to brown nicely mm -hmm. they look like the spring rolls at restaurant
Okay, so now that we are done、um, frying our Korean style spring rolls, now we are ready to eat. So let's dig in. I am so excited to eat. They smell delicious. You also tried one. I did try one off camera, so、uh, they were really good. So let's dig in, Michael. Okay. I haven't tried one of these, but I think they will be. Be careful; they might be a little hot, right? Yeah. Well, we let them cool for like、yeah. three minutes.、Mm. They are. I can tell. It's hard to just. Can I just? You can use your hands too. Hmm. What do you think? Mm. We also have some soy sauce、mm -hmm. and some kimchi.、Mm -hmm. I think chopping up the or mincing up the、uh, shrimp into smaller pieces、mm -hmm. and mixed、uh, together with the ground pork, you get a really nice texture, really good flavors.、Uh, the the sesame、uh, sesame oil and the、uh, soy sauce. Uh, the minced, fresh minced garlic in there, the chives,、uh, the glass noodles.、Uh, every bite has really good texture, a lot、oh. of great flavors. Gonna... <laughs> You're putting kimchi on it. Perfect.、Uh, and not to mention deep fried, right? What doesn't taste good deep fried? Pretty、what、much everything.、It? I don't know what doesn't taste good deep fried.、Mm -hmm. What do you think deep fried? Chips taste like. Deep fried chips are chips. What? <laughs> how? That's how chips are made. They slice the potatoes in really thin slices. Oh yeah, just like fries. Yeah, and then they fry. Sorry, I'm not using my brain. <laughs> It's okay, Michael. It's probably because you were hungry. I just forget. Nothing. Look at that. You want to take a shot of that? And it is、Piping、delicious.、Hot. It's fresh. It's good. We should make this more often. <laughs> We should. Mmm. Mm. It's very greasy,、mm -hmm. which makes it good. Mark will. I think Mark will love this. Mark for sure will like this. Cause he, I, I like to eat spring rolls too.、Mm. I don't think we can eat all of that. Cause remember, sharing is caring. Try one bite. Nice, juicy, tasty, flavorful, hot. hot. <laughs> yes. Well, that's another episode of Shin to Shin, guys.、Um, you know, we're gonna end it here, but、mm -hmm. Michael and I will definitely continue to eat a few more spring rolls. But we want to thank all of you guys for joining today and watching this episode of、uh, Korean style spring roll.、Um, and、uh, Michael, you're a great help. So thank you so much as、mm -hmm. usual. And yeah, I'm I'm really happy about how this turned out.、Uh, you did a great job rolling the the spring the rolls together.、Mm -hmm. So, how, what do you think? How'd you like it? Ah,、uh, it's very good. And if you just make it like spot on, like like、yeah. we did right now, spot on. It's very. <laughs> it it tastes good because it's very juicy. Yeah. And then it has like, like all of the stuff like the noodles, and the shrimp and the pork all、yep. together. All that. Together, it's just like one chunk of like delicious food. Yeah, so it's、awesome. very good. Awesome. Well, thanks, Michael.、Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, again, thank you so much for watching.、Uh, we recently hit 150, over、yeah. 150 subscribers, so that was our next milestone. So thank you all for supporting the channel. We really appreciate it, and hopefully that、uh, you guys enjoy these recipes and are cooking at home along with us. Follow us on social media, right?、Uh, shin to Shin on、uh, Instagram, mostly on Instagram, a little bit on TikTok here and there. And、uh, yeah, until next time. Bye. Bye, guys. Take care. <laughs>